Caesar here. Now, I... <laughs> Boy, I can pick a picture, can I? Where did I get that picture from? Anyway, so Caesar here, ouch, my foot. So Caesar here from Black and Crew on VH1. If you don't know who he is, he's um he, he was part of the first franchise on that damn show. He runs a tattoo shop, and they act like they actually tattoo, but we see way more uh, uh sex, fighting, and fussing than actual tattoo work. A few things we have learned on this show: number one, they like to do it in toilets. Number two, um um um, it's possible to fall in love with a man called the Ussy Annihilator. Number three, never let Donna give you no tattoo. Never let Donna get near your skin. Never let Donna, D Donna can't draw you a picture. D Never let Donna do anything with a needle towards your body. She's giving all them hoes up there gang green. Now, I, I ain't with, look, we gonna call it what it is. She would get them tattoos. They would look over in the mirror like, oh, girl. Oh, thank you, girl. I love it. And it's just a big blotch of black on the skin. It's just like, you gave this girl gangrene. This girl gonna have to amputate that damn leg. But she, I'm sure by now her, her, her artwork looks a little more you know, realistic and a little less jailbirdish. All right, moving right along from that. The story is about Caesar and his daughter Cheyenne. His daughter Cheyenne is 16 years old. We have seen her mentioned on Black Ink Show a few times throughout the seasons. And honestly, she had been portrayed as a brat. And she has been portrayed as a spoiled kid, all right? But we don't know if that's the complete truth because the VH1 also tried to convince us that these people lived in empty apartments and empty houses. When we know those were Airbnbs. You know, VH1 has not always told us the truth. You know, when they had Yandy Luther King and they're talking on the phone with no cord, I lost all faith in VH1 then. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Really? Y'all couldn't even plug the cord in? Like, y'all not even gonna try at the... Oh, okay, all right. Anyway, so... um. Caesar also had introduced his baby mama, his ex, her name is Crystal, and Crystal was basically kind of like, she portrayed the role of like the bitter baby mama that was always reading him and got him together, but nobody knew him like Crystal knew him, and him and Crystal was going to get back together, but then it didn't work. I mean, you know the, the typical storyline of every damn reality show. Now, according to his daughter, all right, let me show you his new girlfriend too. Ooh, look at her. Oh, damn. Now, she is fine. I don't know if she fine enough to be cussing out my child and talking to my child crazy. But she fine. She not, you know, uh, severed a relationship with my kid fine. But, you know, fine enough to have on your arm. You know, he does keep a nice piece of arm candy. You know, the you know, she she looks good. She got a Versace on. Um, If you guys go to her IG page, it's like I am, I am dot see eyes or something like that she's like a credit repair specialist and some other stuff and uh she got a she got a flat tummy big breasts and a big booty so she looked just like the average woman down here in atlanta um but you know she got the neutral burst body so whatever anyway i said <laughs> i'd say all of that boy he know he's been trying to replace dutchess every mm. anyway so i said it's like, this is a girlfriend here suzette all right and suzette got into it with the daughter and the daddy got into it with the daughter so i'm gonna play a clip from cheyenne who was caesar's daughter actually telling us what happened and then i'm gonna give y'all my take on all this so we gonna decide together was daddy disciplining or was daddy giving a beat down all right let's go ahead and play what she had to say oh you better reload ho why is it always over here doing this all right here we go hold up let me turn up the volume he put hands and feet on me. I'm a female. I'm doing. Everybody that knows that's a mother on this. Period. You stay here. Start me out. What you talking about? So now you have that has a daughter. No to put their hand on their daughter. Period. You stay here. Start me out. I wasn't gonna let you out, but y'all just bugging. I don't do the social media. Okay. So. If you couldn't hear it, she said, you stomped me out. You was bugging. Okay, so let me explain to you guys the situation. And then I'm going to show y'all the Insta stories. So back in October of 2019, the, the daughter Cheyenne was actually down here in Caesars home in Atlanta. And I said, well, damn, does everybody live in Atlanta? 
I'm like, damn, I'm gonna have to move or something. Like, I can, I talk about all these people and they like around the corner. Atlanta is not that damn small. I'm, I'm that that damn big. I'm like, damn, oh yeah, we run it over with y'all celebs and reality stars. Go home, y'all driving all the home prices up, all the apartments up. I went to go look at a house. This house was three hundred thousand dollars. I don't feel like this house should have been three hundred thousand dollars. I feel like this house should have been two hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. What in the hell is going on, New Yorkers? Go home. Golly, y'all paying these uh, these high price for the uh, the uh, uh, getting these high surge high priced ass houses because you know you used to be in New York with nothing but roses coming out of the concrete. Damn. Anyway, so Cheyenne was in Caesar's Atlanta home, and after getting into it with Caesar about some dishes that she didn't do, now I gotta stop right there because we know how a black parent act when it comes to dishes in the sink, and I know how it was for me coming up. Oh Lord, I, I remember not leaving dishes in the sink, leaving like a hey, Foon, a, a, foon a, a spoon or a fork and all oh, you got all these dishes in my house you got all these dishes in my house ah! this is like i mean day you 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 would have thought the devil was coming out about one folk left in the sink it's just like god you know well you wash it if it's that Ooh, my mama black i couldn't have said no shit like that but anyway so, so apparently, so apparently, uh, Cheyenne didn't wash the damn bitches like she was supposed to when she got an attitude. Caesar claims that the little girl crossed the line, but he is not telling us exactly how he did discipline her. Now, there was allegedly a video of him punching and stomping out Cheyenne that people had got. I have not been able to find it on the internet, so I will still say allegedly. But what Cheyenne is saying is that she's in the shower doing her thing. Hold up, hold up. Let me, let me get a pillow. Let me get a pillow. Okay, so she's in the shower, doing her thing. Her daddy then comes in the bathroom to beat her. You told Hobbo to beat me, he beat the baby while she was in the shower. Now I know a lot of y'all grew up getting them whoopings and then told to get in the tub, but maybe you got beat in the tub. Maybe y'all got beat running around the house. That ain't all that normal, that's a, that, you know, that's abusive. You you are abused, I got a good I got a good number for a therapist if you need it. But what she's saying is, he came in there, grabbed her, pull, pulled her out, bah, 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 just, ah, 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 just then he threw it down and started stomping her, bah, bah, bah. That's what she claims happened. Now, no word on if she fought back or not. I hope she at least protected her face, you know. After this happened, she went back home to live with her mom. According to her mom, she wasn't being fed down there. And there was just a whole lot of ish going on. And I just got to ask you guys, is this discipline or is it abuse? Caesar said he did nothing but discipline his daughter. Cheyenne says you should never put hands on your daughter. Never, never. How do y'all feel about this? I don't think a grown man should ever be fighting his daughter, but we don't know if this actually happened. So this is all allegedly. Now let me show y'all a couple things real quick, okay? All right, so this was Cheyenne's Insta story. They went back and forth for a while, but I'm not reading all that shit. I mean, I read it, but I'm not subjecting y'all to that. She said, stop texting my mother, yo, saying stupid-ish. I ain't speaking on the situation because I know we're ruining someone's life, so that's why I'm quiet. No, I don't put my sperm donor. No, I would never forgive him. No, will I ever claim him as a father? Okay, that's what she said. That's what the baby said. That's what the 16-year-old said, right? Damn, y'all grew up quick in New York because I, I could have sworn that girl was every bit of 18, 19. But maybe it's just maybe it's just her bravado, how she carries herself. I definitely thought she was older. I, I, I definitely did. Now, now the girlfriend said a whole bunch of stuff. But this was the part that caught me off. Because if somebody had talked about my kid like this and you are a supposed step-parent, girlfriend, no, boyfriend, no, you'd have to see me. You just would. So she said, this is Suzette. She said, you were 60 pounds overweight when we got you. We had you in the gym on meal plans. You told me you wish I was your mother. Maybe you would be different. Him and I would argue over me defending you. Everyone told me I was crazy. Mind my business. I see it now. She mad. I. She mad. You used to call me mom. She uses you to talk ish because she don't have the heart to do it herself. Ooh. Now, if I was Cheyenne's mother, I would call her and talk my itch because I definitely got the heart to do it myself. However, we're looking at 
Two sides of the damn story here. Cheyenne saying that you had no reason to stomp me out, pull me out the shower, and kick me and beat me down. She didn't mention nothing on no belt. She said fists and hands. You got Caesar that's saying I did nothing but discipline you when you crossed the line. Suzette is saying she crossed the line after not washing the dishes. Su Suzette is also saying that the mama, who is Crystal, is getting in Cheyenne's head. And you know that typical, that ain't really the kid talking. This her mama talking, even though that kid can clearly talk for her damn self. Now, I'm going to say this. Cheyenne's IG page has since been hacked It has been hacked for the last four days The email and password has been changed on it In addition to that I just don't feel like it's cool for any Girlfriend of the daddy to ever Speak ill will of the kids I feel like if them ain't your kids you need to Stay in your place you ain't been in this girl life Since she was a little girl you were really no Stepmother to her and just because you With her father don't mean that you know Because you contribute to the household you feel like you can Talk to his daughter any kind of way because That's not your daughter that's ever gonna be your daughter I feel I don't know that's why I don't want to date nobody With kids like that because I just feel like those Boundaries get so misconstrued It's like okay I, I Live with you this that's your kid I do for the kid but then i can't say nothing to the kid i i don't know because i mean i never person my mama a daddy could i mean that they said stuff to me i said stuff back and you know i was always called disrespectful when they would throw bible verses at me and i would kindly throw them back you remember yeah wait a minute wait a minute let me, let me talk to one of them real quick bitch because you know who i am yeah bitch remember me <laughs> Didn't I tell you about my old man? <laughs> I was right, wasn't I? Anybody come against Storm, you're gonna fall. Just like a domino, all of you. One, two, to three, to the four. Why would you ever go against me? Now you sitting there looking crazy. Cause you thought you was gonna get a baby. And you didn't. And you didn't. But I was so wrong, though no, I was very right. Anybody go against me, your life don't end up right. I don't know when you gonna learn. I guess you done learn now. Hope the new nigga that you with and gave you what you always wanted. Okay. Now, who do y'all believe? Do you believe Cheyenne or do you believe Caesar? You tell me who you believe. Cheyenne, thank, thank you guys for donations. Do you believe Cheyenne or do you believe Caesar? I wanna know. Now, I gotta wait for this damn chat here to build up. I gotta wait for the chat here to build up. Uh, who are you to say he did that to his daughter? I said allegedly. That's what she. That's what she alleged. Uh, let's see. I ain't heard. You gotta see me. <laughs> she don't have to be there to know what's going on. Girlfriend being extra. Let's see. Still look like he got a lot of. Oh no, I didn't. I didn't at all. It was definitely more verbal torture, the mental torture than anything else. Spill that tea. No, I'm not spilling that tea. I'm not giving them people no props. They shitty lives is is proof enough. I'm just I'm I'm gonna say this on the camera because I want you guys to know this, right? And I'm not saying this for any reason. It just so happens that anybody that go against me, they struggle. They go through a lot. They lose people. It just be bad. And I just be like, you might just want to leave me alone. Like, I I don't know what else to tell them. Any police reports? Nope. No CPS. No police reports. None of that. She just went back home. She just went back home. To me, I could have actually been on the girlfriend's side until she brought up that girl weight. I said, well, now you didn't have to spill that. You, you, didn't, you didn't have to do that. Maybe I'm just a little fat sensitive over here, but damn, you ain't have to put a business out there like that. How old is his daughter? 16. She's 16, which is 25 in New York years. Y'all grow up quick. We know that. Talk to people instead of jumping violent all the time. I believe so. Look, here's my thing, right? I think that in 2020, it's, it's a new day. And I feel like back in the day, a kid like Cheyenne would have got whooped and beat all the time with the kind of mouth that she have. However, I don't think that it's necessarily healthy, whether it went down or not. I'm just saying hypothetically. I think that we should allow children to express themselves, to tell us what's on their mind. But there is a thin line between speaking your mind and disrespect. It is. And it's usually all in how you say something, right? That's what I was always told because apparently, you know, people say I'm sassy. People say I got attitudes. Allegedly, okay. I don't know. You tell me. I feel like I'm the nicest person in the world. But that's just me. So there's, there's a thin line between it because you people got to understand, right? If you teach your kids 
that anytime somebody disrespects you, you can lay hands on them, then they take that out on the streets. If you teach your kids that you can never stand up to any kind of authority figure, but then you're just raising kids that's going to get ran over, in my opinion, or you're raising bullies. I don't know. I look at the 70s and 80s babies, and I'm just like, okay, y'all got the the y'all got the head, the black beat off of you, and y'all ain't really, like, y'all got a lot of mental issues. Now, y'all got the most, now, the 70s, 80s babies, 60s babies got the most common sense. Common sense was lost with the 90s babies going forward. However, y'all got a lot of mental issues from their ish, so was it worth it? I don't know. I think we need balance. I and mean, we need balance between the belt, the 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 the, the belt in, in, in the in the mouth. Like just just kind of balance it. But I still ain't heard nobody talk belt. I'm hearing stomping and punching. Okay. I hope he didn't do that either. Uh let's see. How was that man going to pull his grown naked daughter uh out of that's what I'm saying. That's nasty if it happened allegedly. All you got to do is take her phone. That's worse than a whooping. You hear me? They whole life. They act like they whole life be over without their phone. Um, okay, let's see. What else? She is spoiled, but he should not have done her like that. Okay. Okay. I love you. Oh, I love you too. Uh, okay, y'all saying y'all believe her daughter pretty much. Y'all saying y'all believe the daughter. Sabrina said you putting the spells on them. I didn't say nothing. I didn't do nothing to nobody. I don't know what you're talking about. Now, moving along from that, I will say this just to end this story. I think that this is an example of a father who he'd been grinding for a long time. He had it at an early age. And he was gone all the time. Think about it. He, he ain't with the mama no more, right? Ain't been with her in years. And he had to work. If you're an entrepreneur, you know you putting in 12 to 16 hours a day. He wasn't at home like that. And so he tried to substitute that time spent with Cheyenne with gifts, okay? That hurt her as she grew up because really she wanted his time more than any monetary gift that he could give her. He feels like she's a spoiled brat for everything that he does for and she's not uh, uh, thankful for it. And it's just, it's, just, it's just a mix of the two. He really should have nipped her mouth and her mother should have nipped that mouth in the bud years ago but since they didn't now you got to deal with this at 16 i don't really think it's changing now because her personality is pretty much already set in stone so good luck this is the beast that you created but it's sad nonetheless hopefully they can come together hopefully they can hopefully they can all right let me take them down let me take them down, gonna play a commercial. We'll be right back to answer questions, comments, and concerns. Have you ever wondered how the rich keep getting richer? They learn to leverage money and pass the knowledge down to their children to create generational wealth. If you're not trading, you may miss your family's wealth opportunity. Epic has removed the learning curve and are putting thousands of people into profits daily. Results will vary but you now have an opportunity to earn while you learn from millionaire traders who can put you on the fast path to Forex trading success. Copy and paste live trade alerts that will be sent to your cell phone each day. Follow Epic's two-week syllabus to learn to pick your own trades. I'm excited to be partnered with this company. It's giving me a skill set that will allow me to live the lifestyle that I want to live. Great Britain Pound USD. I got from that trade $11.65, $15.15, $40.50, $50.50, $50.50, $50.50, $50.50, $50.50, $50.50, $50.50, $50.50, $50.50, $50.50, $50.50, $50.50, $50.50, $50.50, $50.50, $50.50, $50.50,